Okay. Let's do this. We're gonna drive. Oh, wow. Tesla has hyped up its autopilot and full self-driving systems quite a bit. It's not nearly as good as what you might think it is. Tesla's driver assistance system ranked eighth on a list by Consumer Reports. Mercedes, Ford, and GM were all rated higher. The big difference that you'll notice is the inability to steer within your lane and collaborate with the steering in the Tesla. It wants us to apply steering wheel torque occasionally, but the problem is that when I do that, it turns the system off. Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli and FSD. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and help me change the world. One electric car at a time. Thank you to all my supporters. If you're in the market to buy a Tesla car, please use my referral code. And as you saw just now, this is a small video from CNBC uh, and Consumer Report. And uh, here's, uh, let me, I'll try to comment on what we, you just saw. I'll put you another clip in a minute. And then I'll tell you why. And it's like, you all know what, obviously why. So obviously this tester, whatever the hell her name from Consumer Report, she's testing the autopilot in a loop. And her big point at this, at this one, that if you see an obstacle and you want to disengage from the Tesla uh, uh, autopilot, you have to jiggle the, the wheel and then the car goes completely discombobulated. Now, I've been driving Tesla since 2018 and test driving them for three years before that. I drive autopilot, full self drive for the, for, since 2018. How many years is that? Seven, eight, whatever. And just, just happened today when I make this video, I did test the autopilot just to see because I saw this video yesterday and I didn't touch the wheel for a little bit. And then that blue warning comes and then you just give it a little caress, a little touch and it stops. If you drive FSD, and this happens if, because you look away, so you look forward, it will stop. And if you touch the wheel, that, mean, that means you are still alive. Now, what do they test? They test the, FS, they test the autopilot, not the FSD. Now talk about apples and oranges. This is apple and corn, okay? I mean, they assume that they will do this lying. They're lying, obviously they're lying. And that you're not going to find out. Or oh, there are not enough Tesla drivers who may see this like, what the hell are you talking about? So obviously, it's, I, I mean, those of you, every, every Tesla car has an autopilot. What is autopilot? You're on a highway, you pick a lane, tap, tap, done. Now, I, in one of my cars that has only autopilot, not FSD, I did double tap. Sometimes I like to just go cruise control. And if I tap again, it goes on autopilot. And if I want to pass somebody, I put the blinker, a little jig, and then it gets off, I pass him, I'm still on cruise control, pass the car, move over, another tap, back on, on autopilot. It's the easiest, safest a, a, a system to, 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 to drive. But they mentioned for extra pay, watch, I'm going to put you a link, watch the whole video. It's incredibly stupid and lying. It mentioned, yes, if you want more features, you have to pay, that's the FSD. Okay, so don't pay, just drive... So compare this with this. Now, so Tesla is in eighth place. First place is Ford Blue, whatever the hell it is. And GM, second place, the, 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 the Cruise, which was supposed to be like uh, autonomous, like Waymo, and got canceled after spending billions of dollars. Or Mercedes that is limited to where it's going to drive. And all those other systems that are pre-mapped and certain highways, as opposed to autopilot, I drive not only over the United States, I drive in Canada, and I go to Israel once a year, and I use autopilot in Israel, and it works beautiful, and it's great. Now, by the way, there's an enhanced autopilot that does move lanes. I mean, let me show you the f this clip, and then I'm going to tell you, comment on that, and then I'm going to tell you why, what is this all about, and I guess you know what this is all about. Consumer Reports ranks the Mercedes ahead of the Model 3 because it does some things that the Tesla doesn't. First, driver collaboration. If the driver needs to take control of the wheel for a moment to steer around a pothole, for example, the Mercedes system allows you to do that. The system is on, but I'm able to do this freely and very smoothly. And the collaboration is really, really important because as you saw in the Tesla, that system doesn't allow for the driver to collaborate or override the steering. 
The Mercedes also executes exceptionally well. Even the things the Model 3 can do, the EQE can do better. This is the highest performer for lane centering and as well as adaptive cruise control. This one is much smoother than the Tesla. Third, there is a display right in front of the driver, whereas the Tesla has just the screen and the dash. So you got to put that information within the, the field of view of the drivers versus in the Tesla, you have to dry your eyes off of the road and look for it here rather than doing a quick glance back and forth. Now in this clip, as you see, she's yakking about a, a collaboration between the driver and the car and that there's no screen in the front. Those who drive FSD, now I now an FSD 12.6.3, and I had issues with, if you watch my videos, you know that I am honestly brutal. I am brutally honest. <laughs> and I, you know, if it's not good, I'll tell you. I made videos, don't use it. Now, I had to do a, a, a calibration. And the, 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 the FSD now, it's amazing. The FSD hardware 4, I tested it in Florida, the 13.2, on a Cybertruck in Fort Lauderdale. The Cybertruck made, made a U-turn on FSD that if I, like I was on a bicycle. It's incredible what, what it does. It's still level two, it's still supervised, and it's, and it's improving all the time. And a dry, there's no driver, driver feedback. I made a video, I'll put you a link, in my neighborhood, snow. And sometimes I do videos in the fall when there are leaves. Okay, and it maneuver leaves. Now, Here's one thing they never mentioned. And again, I've been driving FSD since 2018, uh, uh, Autobot FSD since 2018, 2021. The performance of this system with pedestrians, dogs, uh, foxes, I live in the forest, foxes running around, deer. It's like so careful, so great. Walking pedestrians go around them, dogs, anything, any animals. I almost hit a deer one time. If I didn't drive the, uh, an FSD, it would hit the, the deer. I couldn't see it. Just zoom. And the car slowed down, let the deer move. Not to mention parked cars, maneuvering around obstacles, speed bumps. and all. This is an utter and complete bullshit. Certified bullshit. Banking on the fact that people are not going to check. And not going to make reactionary videos like this one. And we all know what it is. Since 12, 2012, when Tesla became a significant company because they don't advertise. So liberal media, print and, and, and TV, like New York Times and MSNBC and CNBC and, and many others, who are supposed to be on the environmental side, have been bashing Tesla. Elon Musk, you know, I know he's a little cuckoo, but the guy has revolutionized electric cars, fast charging that everybody uses. They all line up use. I see them all the time when I travel around. All these companies, Ford and Mercedes, everybody uses a Tesla supercharging, both in the United States and in many countries around the world because it's reliable and it's always up. Solar panels, uh, storage, power walls, rockets, robots soon, and 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 uh, robot taxis very very soon. Him, him who used to only vote Democrats until the last until the last election when the Democrats in the mainstream media has rejected him, crapped on him, lied about him, about Tesla and what Tesla does. And Tesla, this is what you have to offer, Mercedes, uh, uh, Super Cruise. Are you kidding me? Who are you lying? Obviously, there's an agenda. Obviously, they're trying to do their best to bring them down. But you know what happened when they do that? Every single time they fail. I will do a follow-up uh, for this video when the cyber cab is going to be operational. That would be fun to make fun of them. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys for watching.